we will see a demo video of uh, a rough foundation uh, using MMS programs you can find uh, the soil upward acting earth pressure factored upward pressure okay under the raft and uh, from that you can do the design of a raft lab okay this program just calculates the upward uh, soil pressure uh, due to the uh, different uh, loading given on the graph so let us see how can this program be executed uh, click design program list raft foundation okay so say we have a raft of length 10 meters width this is width 10 meters okay please use enter key to store the input data 10 meters enter it's 10 meters enter say svc is 150 kilo newton per meter square enter number of columns on raft so we are having nine numbers of column on the raft so nine so this is the raft 10 meters by 10 meters now we have to give the horizontal and vertical distance of the center of the columns right so the first column is over here and that is at one meter from left press enter one meter vertical okay horizontal and vertical one the load in that column is thousand kilo newton this is factor load okay now so this is the first column location drawn over here right similarly let us give all the nine columns right by uh, we'll give the remaining eight columns okay second case is uh, one press enter five and load is a thousand okay so this is the second column uh, you can take uh, the third column as a uh, five horizontal is five vertical is one and load factor load is thousand okay you can take fourth column is horizontal line vertical one little factor load on that column is thousand okay now the fifth column horizontal distance you have to give the distances from the left corner okay this is the left corner top left corner right so we are giving all the distances from with respect to this point that is this point okay Horizontal is 5, uh, vertical is 5, and load is, vector load is 1000. And uh, again, the, for the 6th column, say horizontal is 9 meters, vertical is uh, 5 meters, and the load, factor load is acting on column, column number 6 is 1000 kilo newton. Now, let us give the data for the seventh column number right seven right horizontal is one vertical is nine and the factor load is thousand kilo newton and uh, eight column number horizontal distance five vertical distance nine meters load thousand kilo newton the last column horizontal distance is 9 meters vertical is 9 meters and column load is 1000 factor load right this is how this is column number one okay you can see the columns over here okay column three column four column five column six and column eight column nine right so this is our raft loading. Now we have to give uh, three criteria over here. That is the maximum load, okay, for corner columns. So these are corner columns, 
okay then for exterior column excluding corner column corner columns okay so these are exterior columns okay and interior column so these are interior columns right now we assume that all the nine columns are of square section the width of the column is say 500 by 500 mm okay so the maximum we know that load on all the corner columns this is this one this is two this is three this is four is thousand so the maximum is sound right so write thousand press enter width we are taking is 0 0.5 meters 0 0.5 meters as it is a square column if it were a circular column then you have to give you had to give this value as 0 0 and you you had to give the diameter but it, as it is a, a square column so we have given this value of width and depth and so diameter will be zero right okay now for exterior column this is 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 exterior column in our case this 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 and this are exterior column so the maximum load is thousand okay you know because all the columns have thousand kilonewton loads okay so column Width is 0 0.5 meters. 0 0.5 meters is the depth. Diameter is 0, right? Now, interior column. This is the interior column, and the load maximum load is 1000 kN. Again, 0 0.5 meters is the width. 0 0.5 meters is the depth. Diameter is 0, right? Now, we have to write the load factor which we have applied to this loads so we have applied 1.5 meters okay so write 1.5 press it right so this is how uh, the data has been given say suppose you have by mistake given some wrong data over here then you can always uh, edit it okay so are you sure no editing is to be done uh, in that case you, you write no so edit button will be tabulated write the column number say i want to change some data in column number five right right write five press enter right okay so the five the detail for the column number five is written over here okay so you can change that uh, value whatever you want and just press enter enter and enter right so that the new change will be uh, saved and it will be displayed over here okay? okay now let us click finish no further editing is to be done okay so yes save the file okay now you have to come give some details over here right FCK is uh, 20 kilo, uh, Newton per meter square. Press enter now. Write the number of bays along the length for the selected column grid on raft. So this is the length, right? So the number of say suppose I am selecting this grid of column, then the number of bays over here are one, two, and three. Okay, these three are the are the bays along the length. And we have to give the bay length, okay, for this base, right? Now this is these are the bays in along the width, right? So these are the some details which you have to fill up in this form, right? Write the number of bays along the length for the selected column grid. Say we are uh, selecting this column grid, okay? So the number of bays are one and two. So write two. Okay. Is there any cantilever on left of raft? Okay. Yes, there is a cantilever. So write yes. Okay. From left, write the span in meter for bay number one. This is bay number one. This is bay number two. So this is four meters center to center. So write four. Okay. Now span for b2 this is b2 right this is b2 right again it is four meters so four and right okay now
now as the length of all waves are given please proceed for the right now is there any cantilever on right of raft right of raft yes it is there right okay now load calculation under base along the width along the width right so if we are considering this column grid okay the number of base along the width is one and two right so two is there any can cantilever on the bottom of the raft bottom of the raft yes there is a cantilever yes right right the bottom uh, from bottom write the span in meter okay, for b1 from bottom this is b1 and this is b2 this is four meters so write four enter and this is b2 again that is four meters so write four right okay as the length of the base are given so please proceed further okay now is there any cantilever on the top of the raft top of the raft this is the cantilever so right yes okay so we have given all the data now let's finish click so let us click finish right and you can save the data okay Okay, you can see the output. So, this is the output. This shows the upload factor, upload freight pressure uh, due to the soil below the raft. Uh, okay, for the considered column grade. Okay, so this is how this program finds the upward soil pressure factor, upward soil pressure. Uh, for the given uh, number of uh, size of the raft and the number of columns and the loads acting on it okay so then you can design it by finite element method or uh, say you can design it at flat slab it depends upon the designer okay so thank you